I've been thinking about this today. It's all kinds of videos out about how to be successful at Weight Watchers. There's no reason not to be successful at Weight Watchers because you have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people telling you how to be successful at Weight Watchers. I want to tell you how I failed at Weight Watchers. I failed for a long time. And um, there are 10 ways, 10 primary ways. I mean, there's probably more than this. But I wanted to share these to you. Um, 10 ways that I have failed before I became successful. And some of these I still fail at from time to time. Because nobody's perfect. Um, me least of all. So, if you want to be successful at Weight Watchers, don't do these things. Okay. So number one. The number one way that I fail at Weight Watchers is I fail to plan meals. I was listening to um, a broadcast today by Fat Dag. Mike, Mike Daggett. I know many of you listen to him. And he was talking about goal setting and just taking one thing, just one thing today that you can set a goal at and be... Um, make it sustainable so that it's repeatable like you know he said don't do something that's not you know that's too far off for you like if you you know you say well you're gonna work out for three hours at the gym today well that might be okay for today but are you gonna be able to do that tomorrow so the idea of setting a goal is to do something you know set the goal that, that you can repeat it and be successful at so I fail to plan meals. There for a while I was pretty good at planning meals. Um, lately I haven't been so good. Um, now I went to the grocery store today. I hadn't planned my meals before I went. So what I'm going to do tomorrow is I'm going to sit down with everything I've got in my refrigerator and my freezer and I'm going to plan at least a week of me weeks of, a week's worth of meals. I think I can do that. The second way that I fail at Weight Watchers and uh, I do this still, and you may think this is odd, but I don't eat enough. There's a reason they have the point system in place, um, because your body needs fuel in order to lose weight. Um, and I might add with that, not eating enough, and I sometimes I don't eat enough fat, because fat burns fat. I know it sounds weird, but that's the way it works. Um, but that's the number two way that I fail at Weight Watchers is there are many times I don't eat enough. So I'm not giving my body enough fuel to burn off the fat. Um, number three, and this is, I was guilty of this today. There's too much time that elapses in between my meals. Now, I typically try not to eat after 7 o'clock because I do like to have a, like a 12 to 14 hour period you know, from my last meal of the day to my next meal the next day. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about if I eat breakfast at 11 o'clock, sometimes it's 5 o'clock and I haven't had anything else to eat. So I get to dinner and then I'm totally starving and I overeat because of it. Or I'll stop at a fast food place because I'm so freaking hungry. So that's number three. Um, number four, this is something that I heard on this broadcast today that someone commented about one of her goals was to, you know, if she, you know, if I bite it, then I'm going to write it. Well, that's all well and good. And I do that. And sometimes I do that not understanding how many points I'm really eating. So I like to change that to I need to bite bef or write before I bite. It means put your stuff in the app or write down your points if you're not using the app. Write, write it down before you eat that meal. But I fail at Weight Watchers by not doing that, by eating and then tracking what I'm eating. Um, which goes to another thing that I fail at, and that is guessing portion sizes. 
You know, if I look at something and say, oh, that looks like, you know, a half a cup, it might be, but a half a cup can weigh differently. So I, I need to weigh by grams. That's how I, I weigh it. it. It may not be okay for you, but it's okay for me. Um, but I fail at Weight Watchers by guessing. Too much guesswork. So that was number four. Or number five. So number six is um, how I fail at Weight Watchers. I stop watching the fellow YouTubers. You know, we all get busy, and sometimes it's hard for me to sit down and watch everybody that, because I subscribe to, you know, gosh, about 70 people. And it's hard to get all that in. And sometimes I just have to take a day or a weekend to binge watch everybody. But when I stop watching my fellow Weight Watcher YouTubers, I lose my mojo. You guys keep me motivated. So I, that's how I fail at Weight Watchers is I, I stop partaking in the community, I guess is what I'll say. <coughs> the next one is a way that I fail at Weight Watchers is eating the same thing all the time. Now, the last couple of weeks you've seen me and my meals have been exactly the same. Fortunately, it's worked out for me with the weight loss this time around. And um, it was a monetary issue why I was doing that. Uh, but even doing a little switch up like last night when I had a snack of a cheese and it was a full fat cheese. Just anything like that to, you know, put a little surprise into your system will help. But there are times we fall into a rut, which is why it's important to watch the YouTubers that, you know, share recipes and stuff to get ideas. Um, but I feel at Weight Watchers by eating the same thing all the time and there's no need to. I was going through some old Weight Watcher cookbooks last night. I'm thinking, my gosh, I never made this, but this sure sounds good. So, uh, the next one is one way that I fail at Weight Watchers is by not moving enough. Now, the last couple of weeks, you know, I've moved, so I've been moving a lot. And I live upstairs now, so I have to go up and down 17 steps every time I leave or come back to my apartment. Which is awesome, you know, exercise. And I also have a huge pond out here now that I can walk around. It's a huge yard that I walk Molly around several times a day. So I... I don't have an excuse anymore, but that, you know, how easy it is it, I don't think I'm the only one, for us just, just to sit in front of the TV and veg, and see, yeah, we need th those days sometimes, but not all the time, so that is another way that I have failed at Weight Watchers, is by not moving. Um, another way, uh, I think I'm up to number nine now, is binge eating I can and you've seen me do it when I was in Idaho there was the grub truck they had mac and cheese you saw me last week when I ate all that mac and cheese uh, there seems to be a pattern there isn't there with the mac and cheese um, anyway how easy it is, is it for you can binge eat on good foods like there have been times that I have gotten the the uh, Good Thins crackers where you can have 41 of them for, what, four points or three points? Three or four points, I forget which. I'll sit there and eat the whole darn box. That's binge eating. Or the baked Lay's. The reason I always buy the small package, the pre-portion package, is because if I buy the bigger portion in the store, I will sit there and eat the whole freaking bag. And... Um, that's the way that I fail at Weight Watchers is I binge eat and sometimes I binge eat on foods that are good for you you know you can binge eat on fruit you know you can get go and get a whole three pound bag of grapes and eat them in one sitting and I know you can do it because I've done it so and then the tenth way that I fail at Weight Watchers is not drinking enough water now, I put my water usually in, because I have these, in a mason jar. Now, this is a quart jar, so I try to drink four of these during the day. I don't always do it, but, you know, four of these is a gallon of water a day. I have a tendency when I am running around or doing errands, I don't drink water because 
sometimes it's hard for me to make it to the bathroom. I can't tell you how many times I've had accidents because I couldn't make it to the bathroom. <laughs> so I don't drink a lot of water sometimes when I have a lot of errands to run. But that's, you know, that's one of the core things of Weight Watchers is to drink water. Water does, drinking water does not make you lose weight. I want to say that right now. There is no scientific reason that water makes you lose weight. But what it does is it fills you up and so it replaces other bad things or sugary sodas or even caffeinated drinks that, you know, like at Starbucks, if you go to Starbucks, you can get a day's worth of calories in one drink if you want to. Uh, so it replaces that and it keeps your body flush, flushed out of toxins, you know. So uh, that's why they want you to drink the water. It's not because you're going to lose weight if you drink water because sometimes you can have a water weight gain. If you have something salty at night and you drink a lot of water, sometimes you can retain that water. And the older you get, sweetie, it's tougher to lose that water weight. I just want to let you know that those of us who have had a good measure of success on Weight Watchers, um, like um, Carrie, Sandy, D, um, Smack Vision, they're getting, they're going great guns right now too. You know, it's not all a bed of roses. We at some time, at one time or another, or at multiple times, have failed in one way or another. And I just wanted to share with you that jumping back on the bandwagon is always beneficial. I can't tell you how many times I joined Weight Watchers and quit. You know, and it wasn't that I wasn't losing weight. I mean, I was doing well. I got tired. You know, I got tired of tracking the points. I got tired of, of you know, looking up foods that I could eat, that my family would eat. I just got lazy, and that's why I quit. And I thought, this just is not worth the trouble. But it is. Now... As of today, I've lost 72.2 pounds, and it's taken me three long years to do that. And I've had a lot of ups and downs. I mean, when I first had to go out to Idaho a year ago, after, you know, my life got turned upside down, um, I I put 25 pounds back on, in a, you know, in a blink. So when I came back last fall, back to Ohio, I worked really hard to get some of that weight off. I had a great November, then the holidays hit, and I, didn't, I maybe lost a pound or two. From January 1st, I remember putting on my January 1st video, doing all these wonderful goals that I wanted to set for the year with the weight loss. And we got to March, you know, of course, during that time I traveled back to Idaho, and I gained weight going back there. Um, I, and I was putting on weight again. So we got to March, I hadn't lost anything, I was gaining weight, and I don't actually know what happened to wake me up again, to say, no, you're not going to go back to 277.8 pounds, just not going to happen. So we've all had ups and downs, and we've all failed. I guess my message to you is, even if you stumble, it's only a stumble, even if you fall flat on your face, it's worth getting up, shaking off the dust, and getting back on. And no one ever said it was going to be easy. It's not. You know, gaining weight is easy. Losing weight is hard. Being fat is hard. So what's the saying? You know, choose your hard. Um, yeah, I still have days where I just don't feel like doing the research. You know, sometimes opening up that app is just more than what I want to do, but I do it anyway. And I've gotten to the point now where I will track a bad day. For a long time, I did not. That I guess that would be another way I failed at Weight Watchers. I wouldn't track a bad day. If I went out to lunch or something and and uh, went to the buffet and ate everything in sight, I wouldn't track it. I wouldn't even try to track it. And actually, that's not long ago I did that. But 
you know, we need to track the good days and the bad days, too. So, you know, my issue was I got lazy. I could have had a lot more weight off a lot sooner had I not gotten lazy. But anyway, we've all failed. And if you're in a slump or you feel like you're a failure on this journey, you're not. And you are not alone. You certainly have all of us that have been through it several times. And we are we're here to support you. And, you know, like I said, we've all failed. And I think we all need to be open about our failures. Because for you to join Weight Watchers and say, okay, I'm going to lose every single week, you can be spot on with your tracking and everything that you eat and not you lose an ounce. You can be spot on with your tracking and gain weight. That Especially if you are a woman. I want to tell you, the woman, the female body sucks. It really does. Because we go through things that, you know, guys don't have to go through. So, and then you get the change of life coming in at you. Yeah, and and uh, you're, <laughs> that's a whole nother story. But, you know, the weight just, you know, says, no, 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 no. You're going through the change of life. And so we're not going to leave. The fat cells are eternal. <laughs> it seems that way sometimes. But keep at it. I guess that's my main message. No matter what, no matter how bad it seems, keep at it. You know, a year ago, I wanted to give up on Weight Watchers. I wanted to give up on life. I wanted to, I, you don't even want to know the things that were going through my head a year ago. Uh, I, I didn't think I was worth anything. I didn't think I had anything to contribute to anybody. Uh, I, I didn't think that my life was worth a darn thing anymore. And uh, I can't tell you exactly when my light bulb went off and thought, no, this is not the correct way to think. But we just got to keep on. No matter how many times you fall, get up, get back on. And if any of you need to chat with me, you contact me through email and I'll give you my direct number so we can chat because we need to support each other. We need to urge or encourage each other to success and it can be done. It's not going to be easy. Matter of fact, it's going to suck and it's never going to end. So if you think that you're going to, if you're traveling from point A to point B and you get to point B and it's over with, it's not. That's why they call it a lifestyle, because this is for lifetime. Uh, if you have struggled with weight, it, you know, all your life, it's not going to end when you reach goal. It's going to keep on. But through the Weight Watchers program and with each other, I think we have the tools to keep going on. So, anyway, that's my little rant, my 19-minute rant. So... I'll see you guys tomorrow with what I ate. You guys have a great night.